So welcome to episode one of Oh My Road to Getting Verified and Depop. Well hey, that was very anticlimactic. But what this series is gonna be is gonna be me showing you everything that sold last month on my Depop, which for this episode I'll be showing you the month of February. And then at the end of the video, I'll be comparing my stats to the stats that you need to hit to become verified. Hopefully we do actually get verified one day. But if you didn't understand that, just keep watching. It all makes sense by the end of the video. But firstly, let's show you everything that sold. I'm gonna go up in price brackets, starting with eight pounds and ending with 30 pounds. In the £8 price bracket, we sold three things this month, starting off with this Vans t-shirt. Nice little t-shirt, nice little print on the front. Got it from the first unboxing of t-shirts that I did. Then we got this Minecraft Enderman t-shirt, which was a major throwback. I haven't thought about Minecraft in years. Definitely wasn't playing it the other week, and I definitely didn't spend the whole of the first lockdown building this big world. But it was quite a cool t-shirt. I had a quite a cool little print on it. Then we got this Quicksilver t-shirt, which I think I got out of the second t-shirt unboxing. Once once again, a nice little t-shirt. Did have a minor mark at the bottom, but it wasn't the end of the world. But let's get on to the £10 price bracket, starting off with this Avengers t-shirt. I thought once again, this was quite a cool t-shirt. This was from the first t-shirt unboxing. Nice little top to bottom Avengers print on it. And then we got this like embroidered floral jumper, which came from my first unsorted sweatshirts bale. Did take quite a long time to sell, but it sold. You can't complain about that. Then we got this Star Wars t-shirt, quite a cool t-shirt. Got it from the first first t-shirt unboxing. I got quite a lot of like Star Wars and like Avengers kind of stuff in the first unboxing but don't get me wrong I'm not complaining it sells. Then we got our second floral jumper and our second piece from my first unsorted sweatshirts bale. Oh my god a delivery. Ah. This better be my Lee jeans. Oh my god it is. Ah. You're right. And right, cheers thank you. Oh well doesn't look like my Lee jeans. Ah. Well, that was very disappointing. But where were we? Oh yeah, that's it. We're on this purple jump up. Is it purple? Is it pink? Who knows? I think it was a bit more purple than pink in real life. Then we got this Tina Bleacher t-shirt, which if you're a fan of Bob's Burgers, you'll know who this is. And you probably understand the reference a little bit more than I do. But that was also from the first t-shirt bale. And then we got another t-shirt from the first t-shirt bale in this Corona Kings t-shirt. It was a really nice t-shirt, really nice color. I really like the print it did have two very minor holes near the neck though but it didn't seem to put the person off then we got this alaska cardigan which came from the new sweatshirts bale it was quite a nice cardigan did have a couple minor stains on the back but they weren't really to the end of the world but let's get on to the 12 pound price bracket we're really moving up in the world now starting off with the item that sold first this month in this black and gray reebok track jacket it was quite a basic piece but it was a really nice piece this came from the track jacket bale then we got another a Reebok jacket also from the track jacket bale. Once again it was quite a plain jacket but the plain jackets are always nice. You can't complain about an all black jacket. Then we got this Fila Polo which I think was our last item from the Facebook unboxing which if you've been about for long enough to have seen that video you're a real OG of this channel. But I think this was our last piece from the Facebook unboxing. If this would have fit me not gonna lie I 100% would have kept it. But it was just a little bit too long. Then we've got this Jags jacket which not gonna lie I was a little surprised it sold just for the fact like random sports teams don't really sell too well but to be fair it was quite a nice sports team and had a nice little patch on it then we got this Jordan t-shirt which I think was our only branded piece that we got from the first t-shirt unboxing big up to you Kenny for buying this and the Star Wars t-shirt but this was a really nice t-shirt did have some minor cracking but it really wasn't noticeable at all then we got this Dalek t-shirt which I really liked and if you know what this style is called because I I think it's in the style of an artist please drop it in the comments i'd be very interested to find out but once again big up to you kenny for this one then we've got this england t-shirt which i've had for about four months but as soon as i took new photos for it it sold the same day that is the key example of the power of your photos on depop did get this from my local charity shop though i think this was my last purchase before lockdown happened then we've got this lecoq de sporty yeah i'm pretty much french actually in school i wasn't actually allowed to do french because I wasn't classed as smart enough for it but we won't talk about that but this was a really nice polo I got this from the pre-love kilo sale I can't wait for them to happen again but I think I've only got one thing left now on my shop from my first pre-love kilo sale then for our last piece from the 12 pound price bracket and this this Under Armour quarter zip which I got out of one of the more recent bales it was quite a nice quarter zip to be fair 
Now onto the £15 price bracket. We're really making big money moves out here. But the first item was this West Ham t-shirt, which I think was the first t-shirt West Ham wore when they moved to the Olympic Stadium, which I also picked up just before lockdown from a local charity shop. I can't wait for April for the shops to be open again. Oh my God, this might actually be my late jeans. Ooh, oh my... Another false alarm. But then we got this Patagonia tee, which I thought was really cool because it was 90% recycled or 50% recycled. And it had six and a half plastic bottles in it. Like, how do you even put a plastic bottle in a t-shirt? Let alone put six and a half of them in a t-shirt. But then we got this, like, 80s, like, crazy pattern jacket. They had quite a lot of these at the pre lock kilo sale, but no one seemed to be picking them up. But then we got this, like, all over, like, vintage Hawaii shirt, which I thought was really cool. I think this was only on my shop for about a week and it sold in a bundle with the last item. The person who bought it must quite like their loud patterns. But then we got this Tottenham track jacket which I got out of the track jacket bow and if you don't know I support Tottenham which was quite crazy considering of all the teams in the world to get. I got the team that I support. But it was quite a nice jacket. Only had two very minor marks on it. But then we got this two-tone neck like Christmas jumper which was quite a nice jumper. The embroidery on the front was really nice. This literally sold up in same day or the day after I listed it. Then we got this like Mexican poncho hoodie which I really liked. I had to keep one for myself. They're so nice these jumpers. They're really warm. They're really good quality and as well they look the nuts. But then moving on to the £20 price bracket, we got this Washington Redskins like track jacket, which once again, big up to you Kenny, but if you don't know, this logo on the Washington Redskins jacket is now discontinued. I think they had some issues with it, but they've rebranded now, and their rebranding is quite terrible. But I think this piece could definitely go up in years just because the badge is discontinued. But then we got this Nestle jumper, which I got out of the mixed print unsorted sweatshirts bale, which not gonna lie, probably was one of my favourite sweatshirts that I've got out of the sweatshirts bail. And this one went to Jonathan, so big up to you. I hope you enjoy. But moving on to the £25 price bracket, we've only got one item in this bracket, and it's this 90s, 80s, like, Nike track jacket. I thought the design on this was really cool, like, really nice, like, purple and teal colours as well. I thought the Nike embroidered badge as well looked the nuts. But then moving on to the £30 price bracket, starting off with this champion reversible jacket, which I thought was really cool. Arguably one of my favourite items I've ever had in my Depop. It was a really nice jacket. I thought it was really cool that it was reversible. I've never really seen a jacket like that. And it was championed and it was a quarter was it really. It was an all-round perfect jacket. But then on to these Reebok track jackets, which I got from the Pre-Love Kilo sale, which I think is the last item I still had from the Pre-Love Kilo sale. Not gonna lie, I'm surprised they took this long to sell. I thought these were so cool. I really like the Reebok embroidered up the leg. But that's all the items that sold this month. If you are enjoying this video up to this point, please give it a like. It'd be so appreciated. And subscribe to help me hit 1k by the end of the year. Once again, it would be very much appreciated. But moving on to the moment of truth and the moment you've all been waiting for. Well, at least I hope you've been waiting for. Which is to see how far off the verification stats I am for this month. And if you don't know, there's three things you need to hit to get verified. Or three main things to do with sales that you need to hit to get verified. You can either make 50 sales with an average of £15 or you can make £2,000 total in sales for the month. But that's without taking away fees. And as well, you've got to maintain these numbers in either stat for four months. But let's start off and see how far off I am off the 50 items and the £15 average. The total amount of items that I sold this month was... Oh, 31 items. So I was 19 items off the 50 target. But I don't think that was too bad bad this is probably the most amount of sales that i've made in one month my average per sale was on oh, 13 pound and 94 pence so once again we've come in under but we've only come in one pound and six pence under which in my opinion i don't think is too bad one pound six pence really isn't too far off but i think the only reason why we're probably just a little bit under that is because we did make the majority of our sales under that 15 pounds like 19 of our 31 sales did did come under £15. So for last month, we didn't hit the 50 items or the average of £15. But did we hit £2,000 in sales? We hit all 
all £432. So once again, we did come under the target. And this time, we did come quite far under the target. We came £1,568 under. But I think this isn't really going to be the target I'm going to try and hit. I'm mainly going to try and hit the other target. Because I think that's a little bit more achievable for my shop. Just because of the items that I stock. And as well, we're already pretty close to that. So unfortunately, this month, we didn't hit any of the verification stats. But to be fair, we really weren't too far off the first stat of the 50 sales and the average of £15. But if you want to know what my Depop is, it's up on the screen now and I'll link it in the description. And hopefully next month we can at least hit one of the verification stats. But if you did enjoy episode 1 of the Road to Verification, please like the video. It'd be so appreciated. It really does help this video and my channel out so much. And as I said, please subscribe to help me hit 1k by the end of the year. But as I said, I'm going to be doing this series on the first Saturday of every month. So you got something to look forward to for the first Saturday of every month. But I really do hope you enjoyed this video. As I said, please drop the video a like. It'd be very much appreciated. Subscribe to my channel and comment down below any videos you'd like to see in the future.